Tyler Perry says there will be other projects in the studio that are not Tyler Perry labeled where he will be able to provide writers room and opportunities for other writers after facing a backlash for preferring to pen his own branded TV series alone. Perry recently found himself at the center of controversy after trying to highlight his strong work ethic by revealing he does not have writers room for dramas like They Have and They Have Not, The Oval and Sisters. Yeah. Mm. And I think um, we, I, I like the way he addressed it because it made a lot of sense. For me, it made a lot of sense. This is his dream. He has his audience. He knows his audience. He knows what they want. Mm -hmm. According to him, he has been trying to build the audience for 25 good years. So I'm sure he knows exactly what to deliver to them. Mm -hmm. So now if he's trying to say, okay, I want to give jobs to people, and then according to him, when, people, when he tried to use other writers, he had low ratings, and then his audience were like really disappointed. He's a businessman. There's a purpose for what he's doing. He has his reason. Mm -hmm. He has his plan. He has his dream. So I mean, I, I totally agree with him. And like, like he said, there are opportunities in other movies and whatever. It's not like he's shutting the door against any writer or anybody. So, I mean, that's his dream. Let him leave it. I totally agree with Earl on this one because at the end of the day, it's um, your focus as a creative. It's mm. your... It's what you plan, what you envision, your dream. So mm. if you cannot deliver what you... Because a writer's room, things will be changed, obviously. Yeah. Certain people will have different opinions. They'll be like, why don't we do it this way? Mm. But when you were writing that script, you had a vision for yeah. what you, you were writing. You, want you to had pass. a message you had in mind. But people will change it. Mm. And at the end of the day, you find out that whatever they are giving to you is not exactly what you want. Are you but they are worked. Mm. So you have to pay mm. them and still change it. So it's not like you're paying them for their contribution because you're not even using their contribution mm. in the first place. So you're paying them for, okay, your label. Do you understand? So I understand where it's coming from, but at the end of the day, it's not just about you, bro. Mm. At the end of the day... That's why I said there are other there's opportunities. there's something about writing solo. You see things entirely from, from your, your own perspective. your own point of view. Yeah. Your own point of view. You can be very versatile, mm. be creative, bring in some twists here and there, but... Mm. It, your what you see, I mean, the world is so big that your your experience is mm. really minimal. You have to broaden minimal. your horizon, you spread you. your That's tentacles. That's the word I'm looking for, broaden your horizon. But like Elwa rightly said, it is business. And if this is what is working for his audience, then, mm. I mean, let it go. Then he should find people of like minds that mm. have his vision. And, yeah, I was going to go there. I think the problem is the first set of people, or maybe the second set of people, the people he has tried. The writers. The writers, the, uh, he, he got really disappointed. That's why he's like, okay, you know what? I'll just do this myself. Well, this is the message I want to pass with this particular show. Mm -hmm. So every other thing, you guys can, you know, get involved in it. But you see, this series that is about um, my own thinking, my own dream, what I see about life, mm -hmm. this is how I want it to be. So. What do you guys think about I Fall From Grace, though? Okay. <laughs> For me... Seen? Um, mm. partially. Oh, goodness. God, if fair. <laughs> okay, so, uh... You know I don't see movies at once, so I've seen it partially and I've seen it by mouth, say it. By hearsay, sorry. Hey, well, please watch yeah, I mean, it's a great movie for me. I would say it's a great movie. Great delivery. Mm -hmm. And, um... Great delivery, really? Yeah. Okay, great delivery. Bad costume. Why? Fair, you've why? not seen the you've movie. Not, why do you think that? Has you let her <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't think um, anything. When it comes to the costume or whatever, I really don't find the fault in that. The wigs are cool. That's what he wanted the person to look like. That's what he wanted the character to look like. The fact that that's not who the character is in real life and you prefer the character bound does not mean... I mean, he had... Like, he read, that's why he does not like to bring writers in <laughs> because people start changing things for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a great movie. I like the story. There's a lot of lessons to learn there. But I think it's just really overhyped. It's not something special mm -hmm. that... We've not seen it. Honestly, it was a story that I knew where it was going to end. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so um, the twist at the okay, let's not bring any spoilers. Mm. No, but bring it, bring it, bring it on. <laughs> please, so I can add to my no. knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> me, I feel like what is going on right now is um, the effect of the studio he launched. So after that mm. massive studio that is on, I think, 330 acres of land. The expectation from Tyler Perry was really went high, high mm. and this is not the kind of movie that comes out after such feats. 
you know, I heard it was shot in, in five, five days. days. Mm. And in fact, the whole story around the movie is making you feel like this is like a Nollywood effort movie. I'm sorry, it's not a shade, but that's how it felt. Like, mm. let me let me come to Tyler's defense. Is, hold on, you know where it is going before it starts and all that. And the good thing people are also talking about is Crystal Fox, the um, lead character. She's mm. been acting for over 40 years, or mm. 40 years thereabouts. She she and that's that her first. Dies. That's her first lead role ever. Never. So, I mean, it was something of impact for him, and he felt like she deserved it. it I mean, it's just so weird. For 40 whole years, and this is your first, first lead, lead role. role. But then, that's a good thing going for the movie. He says it's all about impact. Uh, even the same interview, he was talking about the writer's thing. He mentioned it too, mm. that it was about impact and all that. However, I feel like more needs to be done. I appreciate Tyler Perry. I like that he uses his platform to bring to fore the issues, but some people are of the opinion also that he now paints the black woman and or the black men in a particular stereotype. I, I mean, I, I, I've, I've seen a lot of people say that. Like, for me, I feel like this did not just get to... The twist was not just there. It wasn't just so deep. Honest, the, it was a very regular movie. It was just regular. So I, I, and when I saw people, you know, reposting a movie to see, a movie to watch... It, Okay. And then again, the title of Fall from Grace, what you would expect. <laughs> like, even if your head was running wild, you would never expect the storyline for that title. So it was more like Grace, Grace was the character Grace. Mm. But in your head, you're thinking of the But if you watch the grace trailer, they say not everybody deserves Grace. And they call it trailer. And sorry, they call it trailer. Um, what's the, the horror movie thing? What's that um, genre for horror movie? What's it called? Horror. Horror. No, no, there's something. Something else, I'll remember when I remember, but that's the category. And people are wondering how exactly is this movie in that category? No, for me, I mean, I think this is a great movie. If it was just a movie that you know I saw, mm -hmm. but the hype was just too much, yes. you need to watch it, you need to do this, you need to do that. And I saw it, I'm like, okay, I already know what will happen at the end of this movie. Mm -hmm. You said something about him, you know, painting the black people a certain way. Honestly, I think. It's, a, it's the bitter truth that is very hard to swallow. Yeah. It's what he it is. He also said that it's, a true, it's, it's, it's inspired by a true life story because mm. there was apparently a, a mother and a son in Atlanta, mm. I hope I'm getting that right, yeah. that was conning um, older women, women of their money. So he read that story and that inspired some part of I mean, I, I don't even know the story yeah. you're saying now, but honestly, most of his movies, if you look at it, it's just what is happening, is reality. Mm -hmm. But people, you know, people like to shy away from the truth and feel People like, like happy endings. You know, <laughs> but... Yeah, well, not, I don't think I'm even expecting a happy ending mm -hmm. from Tyler Perry's movie. <laughs> I, it I never, never happens. happens. It's always but very controversial. There's just, there's just something not... Let me come to his defense based on... Um, I don't understand that you guys said the plot, the twist was mm. not enough, the suspense was not enough and all that. But let me come to his defense in terms of production because mm. people are saying that okay, he just opened this massive studio, mm. so his production is supposed to his production is supposed to be top notch and all of that. But when you have everything going on in your space, you make do of everything you have. And this studio is still brand new. Some things are not yet in place yeah. like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because right yeah, now you don't expect you don't you don't expect a Tyler Perry to go and start paying for location right now. So he's using all his space. Is is uh, what's it called now? What's that word? Is improvising. Do you understand? He's making use of his own platform, his own space, his own everything. He's not think whatever you have on the three hundred and thirty acres is not enough. Do you know? Well, how big wait, it hold is? on, hold on. It's Honestly, when it comes to um like the location and whatever, I, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. With no, with I don't think location. anybody Any, had a problem. It was, it was, no, people the had set was they very said, they perfect. Said it was obvious that it was all shot in nah, one place. Like, I've, I've read a lot of reviews on this. The good, the bad. I don't think anybody had a problem with it. No, I the, saw. That's what I are saw. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, that person needs... That the courtroom <laughs> was the same location that it is like he used a, a gray paint for... Location for what? For the courtroom, nice. for the apartment, for the offices, the... Oh, wow. oh, oh, did, I, no, okay, that person let, let's even hold on. How is that even possible <laughs> for a five-day shot? That person because you have to paint <laughs> and it will dry. Yes, and that's you what they're saying. Is this substandard? Um, what's it called? Stages for no, each. No, that's, that's not what true. I'm saying. Because well, if you use it was part of the reviews I saw. Oh, really? Okay. 
Alright. I don't think that's true. Here, you <laughs> just and, add comments and and say, it's very revealing because that's yeah. absolutely not possible. Yeah. If you said the movie was shot in three months, then maybe there'll be space to say, I'm managing a studio. Then when this set scene is done, I have to create another scene. Mm. No, you don't no create. You just move. You've you created move. all these things together. In five days. You just said fair. something about painting and changing the color. Using the sitting room days. for the cuts, um, the sitting room. Do you know how big the room is? No. It China has different stages. Well, the, um, let's I just move on from this story because okay. I think the we're only taking too much that time. Movie is like the story. Yeah. It was just too basic. Okay. okay.